Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the products that I'm gonna declutter. Uh, so there is like a huge amount of products that is accumulated in my drawers and I'm not able to see any of the products clearly and use them properly. And there are uh, so many products that are old that I'm not using. The shade is not just right for me things that are not working for me i need to get rid of them asap so that's gonna be like our agenda today this is the status of my face makeup there are some foundations powders and primers and concealers i need to get rid of quite a bit of it not quite a bit at least like you know i need to have like a manageable size i hope i can get it to a manageable size so that's gonna be our agenda today like you, can, you saw in the previous clip uh, you'll be able to see how it looks like and uh, by the end of the video, you'll be able to see my uh, present collection after the declutter. I'm really, really excited about this video. This video is going to be like uh, a series. This series is going to have like two or three videos. The first part, this is all about uh, my base declutter. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I hope you do. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, please take a moment and hit the red color subscribe button. Let's get started with the declutter. I'm excited. So guys, this is all of my stuff. Uh, these are primers, powders, foundations and concealers. Everything is sort of mixed up. So let me just um, take out stuff from like, the bins, the mixed up ones and then just arrange it a little bit better and we'll get started with the primers. So these are all of my primers. So anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to start with uh, moisturizing type creams that I have that I kind of use as a base to my makeup. The first one is this. This is the Embryolis cream. This is something that I got even before my wedding, I guess. <laughs> so this is pretty old. I really, really enjoy this cream, but you can see that I have gone through quite a bit, like quite a lot of that cream actually. So I might repurchase this cream, but for now I'm going to get rid of this old one because it's extremely old. Then I have the Cetaphil moisturizing cream, which again, I use it. I use these two um, alternatively, but I don't use it anymore because it's extremely old. I will not be repurchasing this, but this is a good cream to use underneath makeup. Let's finish up the hydrating stuff uh, first. This is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Primer. I love this primer. I just got this. I used this in the Essence video that I did. Really good. Really enjoy this. So I'm going to keep this. This is new and I love it. So this is the Lakme Lumi Cream. First of all, I haven't tried this cream. Maybe once I've tried it, but I haven't tried this a lot. And this is not super old or anything. It's probably like a year old. I think I might want to try this a little bit and then decide if I want to keep this or not. For now, I'm keeping this. Uh, we have the MAC Strobe Cream. I love this cream. I like to use this alone. This is not super old or anything. This is in the shade Pink Light. It's the mini one. Uh, I guess this retails for about 1000 to 1200 rupees in india uh, but yeah i really like this cream it's like something that i use on those non-makeup days but i if i want like a little bit of glow then i really like to you know use this it smells great and i really really like this cream so i'm gonna keep this another illuminating moisturizer type product is the sugar cream uh, I don't think I need both MAC and sugar. I actually forgot about this. I haven't used this so much. I just want to see how much of a glow it gives. Ooh, that feels really nice. But I don't need both the MAC one and the sugar one. And the sugar one is probably older than the MAC one, you know. Plus, this is moisturizing. It doesn't give that much of a glow, I guess. So, I'm going to get rid of this. I've zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. Let's talk about gripping primers. Oh my god. This, you know, is really, really popular these days. It's the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip Primer. It has a pump. It's super easy to use because of the pump. And I really like this underneath my makeup. I feel like it does grip onto my makeup really well. It makes it last a lot longer. So I think I want to keep this. So a similar primer is by Heart Candy, which is also like a hydrating primer, but it grips. Yeah, it says makeup grip. It does grip my makeup pretty well. I haven't used this one as much as I've used the e.l.f. one. 
uh, so I do want to like try this out more and I think I've used this a couple of times and I really liked it and it's not super old that I need to you know discard so I want to keep both of these gripping primers because gripping primers are all I use either gripping or moisturizing type primers are the ones that I mostly use these days so I'm going to keep these two next moving on to some uh, pore filling type primers this is the Nika prep me up let's talk about the Nika one first this is the Nika prep me up uh, primer this is super old this is like the silicone based primer it is such a good primer actually I used to use this a lot uh, back in the day but then um, yeah I don't use this type of a primer even if I did you know this is pretty old and I don't think it's safe for me to put this on my face so I think I want to get rid of this uh, but if you're looking for a good uh, you know pore filling primer an affordable one then this is a very good option definitely do try this uh, next we have the elf poreless putty primer now this is an amazing primer i use this a lot i got this primer when elf initially launched in india so which means that it's at least two or three years old uh, i don't know if i want to repurchase this uh if i want to have some you know this putty type primer there is an elf primer that's in the liquid form in a tube packaging that's something that i'll probably buy but i don't think i will repurchase this sort of a putty uh, tub type primer uh yeah i'm not into it anymore i guess so i'm gonna discard this two easy keeps is this one these are like uh something that i got as free when i made an ulta purchase over a certain amount during the black friday sale and uh, this is the l or uh, not elf it's the ulta beauty poreless face primer i have not tried this yet but uh, yeah i think i'm willing to try this because it's like a tiny packaging and it will be nice to you know travel with and uh, let's see how this works out i'm I haven't tried this and I'm excited to try this. Uh, the next one is actually the only eye primer that I have currently, which is the Ulta Beauty Matte Eye Primer. Surprisingly, I really, really like this. I've used this twice and both the times uh, shadows on top blended beautifully. I did not set it with powder or anything. I just used a little bit of it. I spread it all over my eyelids and uh, the shadows blended beautifully the matte ones and the shimmer ones it kind of you know it made the shimmer stick better onto my eyelids than it originally does on top of a concealer so i guess it's doing its job and i really really have been enjoying this and i would definitely use this more whenever i apply like a little bit of eyeshadow so i'm gonna keep this all right that was easy to do these are the primers that i'm keeping and these are the ones that i'm discarding I'm discarding actually five one two three four five and keeping four five six seven eight eight primers including one eyeshadow primer and like a mini travel size primer so yeah i'm happy about this discard i just wanted to quickly talk about some characters that i'm going to be keeping mostly like i think i'm going to keep everything uh i actually have like a charlotte tilbury magic cream like a tiny one here which is also kind of like a primer i got this as a sample uh free sample from sephora obviously i'm going to keep this uh, this is brand new i haven't used this touch this yet so i'm going to keep this let's go over characters quickly my favorite character is the bobby brown character it's almost like done yeah i have like very few left in the side uh yeah i have a backup already so i'm gonna keep both of these and i have like a character from flower beauty which is in the shade deep peach so these are all the characters that i have that's a concealer i'll talk about it later but uh, i have the bobby brown one technically i have a backup of that and uh, the flower beauty one so i'm gonna keep all of these i really really like and use these a lot so i'm going in the order of my uh, makeup application so next after corrector i would uh, use a foundation type product so i'm just gonna arrange this a little bit better so that you can see everything and then we'll start decluttering i'm gonna start with these uh, moisturizer type uh, you know like tinted 
moisturizers lightweight foundation type thing if you haven't watched my video on like these lightweight base products i've done a video on all of these products that's like laid out right here uh so yeah i have a video on that you can check it out now let's get started with this uh so yeah i think i'm gonna keep all of this because i really really love the tower 28 one everything uh, in this so let's start with tower 28 sunny days this is a little bit dark for me this is in the shade of uh, 40 runyan this has spf 30 it's basically a tinted sunscreen but it's super 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 glowy uh, it's super hydrating it has good amount of coverage i love to use this during uh, the summer time it is just beautiful i have used quite a bit i love the packaging i love the nozzle it's like super easy to use uh, easy to disperse i love carrying this when i go to some trip and all that so really enjoy this obviously keeping this this is the l'oreal uh, true match nude hyaluronic acid tinted serum so this is in the shade 4.5 to 5.5 this is like a touch lighter than my skin tone but uh, i love using this i hate the packaging it's just this dropper like doesn't work at all i don't know why this dropper even exists but uh, uh yeah like you can see it's like super messy but i really like the formulation of this uh it's very very beautiful on the skin nice light coverage so i'm gonna keep this love this and obviously i'm gonna keep my wet and wild uh tinted hydrator this is in the shade um tan medium deep this is a really good match for me and uh, i love using this it's cheap it's easy to use i use my fingers to blend this lovely product yeah i'm gonna keep this next underneath the makeup and by itself is something that this would work for this is the elf um, halo glow liquid filter i am in the shade 4 medium lovely product um yeah the packaging is classy but it's it's a little bit bulky you guys but uh, the product is nice and glowy i have like a an entire video dedicated to this product and the wet and wild product you can check it out uh, i really enjoy using this product definite keep and it's not too old that i need to discard and elf skin i mean i'm not like a very big fan of this but the glow that it gives is amazing so the shade even though the shade is a little off for me uh if i use it under some foundation it's gonna look nice and glowy i know that and also the packaging is horrible i do not like the packaging it also has spf 30 so, so i don't really have to use another layer of spf and then a glowy product this does both for me so i think i'm gonna keep this i love this you guys this is the l'oreal lumi glotion i'm in the shade 903 medium beautiful product i use this on its own as well excellent does not provide any coverage at all it'll be good if you mix it in with your foundation or put it underneath your foundation or by itself you if you're not looking to cover up anything and you just want to look a little bit glowy when you go out in the sun or something so yeah love this uh, let's talk about these foundations right here i want to get rid of a couple of uh, things from here i already know it uh so uh this one this is the catrice true skin hydrating foundation this foundation is light for me i used this last year just once for a corpse bride makeup look for halloween makeup and that was the only time i used this it's like way lighter th for my skin tone it's the shade 046 neutral toffee a shade up is a little bit darker than my skin tone and i don't think i have the patience to mix two foundation shades every time i want to do makeup you know i i, I it's not something that i like to do and uh, this is also a little bit thicker and it's like a little bit weird even though it comes in a pump it's just like see it's super light for me and it's like really thick and i'm not into this kind of a coverage anymore you know it's like way too thick i'm not gonna use this anymore so i'm gonna discard this let's talk about uh this one from l'oreal it's the age perfect radium serum radiant serum foundation uh this is in the shade 75 
uh, golden honey i initially got the shade 80 it was a little bit dark for me i gave it to my sister-in-law i think she said she enjoys it uh, i really like this foundation this has spf 50 oh my god guys during the summer if i need a foundation and you know it doesn't hurt to double up on your spf this is a great option the packaging is great my favorite kind of packaging it's the tube packaging and uh, it's like really nice and lightweight blends beautifully it gives me good amount of coverage it just looks perfect on the skin you guys i really like this i wish i used this more since it's winter in seattle i'm not picking this up as often as i used to uh, so yeah maybe if i use it during the daytime i'll definitely pick this up and use this lovely foundation highly recommend beautiful let's talk about this one this is a super old sugar foundation it's called rage for coverage 24 hour foundation this is in the shade 37 freddo this is actually a good match for me but i don't know why maybe the texture is the sort of a moussey texture and i'm not into that kind of a foundation that has this texture like you can see it's like thick and moussey and it's like I don't know, not the kind of foundation that I like to wear. I find it hard to blend and I feel like it just is patchy on me. Um, maybe I don't know how to use this foundation, but this is super old and uh, I'm going to get rid of this foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. I'm in the shade Desert Beige. It's a perfect match for me. I think I have a review on this foundation. Really, really enjoy this. It's, it's very cheap. It's like... I, I, I don't know why I tend to love these like five six dollar foundations like this one and this one more than anything else I think it, Wet n Wild has done a great job with their foundations lovely finish it's not the original foundation which I did not like that much uh, this one is this one still smells weird but i don't think you can smell it on your face it has like a very nice texture blends beautifully i love the shade match this matches me so well uh it lasts pretty well so i'm gonna keep this really like this let's talk about uh the k-beauty foundation this is something that i actually like i'm in the shade uh 145 medium again have a whole review and all of that it has a pump uh the price is also it's like a standard foundation uh price the texture is so beautiful i used to use this a lot but i guess it's got a little bit old since it's a liquid product i don't want to hang on to it and keep using it because I don't know, liquid products tend to go bad quickly. If it's a powder product and if it's like beyond the expiry date, I wouldn't really mind since it's a liquid product. I, I'm forced to throw this out. But yeah, I might repurchase this in the future when I go to India. But uh, it's a great foundation if you're looking for something that's lightweight with, you know, a medium type coverage. Really like this. Again, my shade is 145 medium. If we are shade twins, that's the shade you need to go for. Now let's move on to some high-end uh, foundations. The only two high-end foundations that I own are these two. This is MAC NC40. This is my perfect, perfect shade out of all the foundations I have. This is the best match for me. Let's look at it. It's um, the full size. I've used this a lot. I use this for my engagement makeup. I used this for my one of the events in my wedding. So, um, and I've used this for a couple of other weddings, important days. I've used this a lot, you guys, trust me. I have a whole video on this, but it's been two years since my wedding. And uh, I'm pretty sure I purchased this foundation a year or a year and a half before my wedding. So it's at least three years old. And I don't think I can hold on to this foundation forever because, yeah, I will definitely repurchase this in the future, not right now. I have other foundations to go through, but what a foundation, you guys. If you want that perfect looking skin, medium to full coverage, long lasting, it's like the perfect bridal foundation. Sadly, I have to get rid of this because it's extremely old and I'm not willing to risk my skin now that it's become really sensitive. I don't want to risk it. so I, I have to i'm forced to throw this out another high-end foundation the only other high-end high-end foundation that i own is the nars one obviously i have again a whole video on this oh my god 
I love this you guys this is not as good coverage as the MAC one but uh, this has sort of like a light medium coverage this shade is just a touch light for me but when I blend it in it looks perfectly fine it's the shade called Barcelona so this has replaced my MAC uh, I have to say when I when I'm like wanting to use a foundation for important days weddings and stuff I actually carry this to uh, my India trip recently and I use this for a wedding there look at that it's like it blends so beautifully the shade might look a little light but yeah it blends into my skin really well I love this it's the shade Barcelona it's the NARS light reflecting foundation beautiful uh, it truly does reflect light in a very beautiful way it looks good in pictures and stuff uh, so this is something that I would suggest if you're a bride you can either go for the MAC one if you want a little bit more coverage or if you're okay with like a little less coverage you can build this up definitely then go for NARS it's so beautiful definite keep right that was understood i just realized i use the elf one technically like a primer i included it in the foundation category i'm sorry for that i just didn't realize uh, so yeah all of these foundations are the ones that i'm gonna keep okay so this is the keep so how many am i keeping one two three four five six seven eight nine so i'm keeping nine out of which one is technically a primer so eight i guess um then i am getting rid of four foundations so i'm happy about this moving on to concealer oh my god this is overflowing i don't use most of it so this is going to be pretty easy for me to discard so let's just arrange this in a little bit you know in a better way Alright, these are all of the concealers that I own. Let's start with the high-end one. This is the only high-end concealer. No, I also have the Tarte. So this is the NARS uh, Soft Matte Concealer. It's the concealer that comes in a pot. I am in the shade Sucre de Orgue. I think, again, I have a whole review on this concealer. I love this. Whenever I want my makeup to look perfect, I use the NARS foundation and this particular concealer. My makeup looks absolutely gorgeous. The coverage on this is insane, you guys. It is insane. It also has a peachy undertone and that's exactly why you can use this alone if you're like my close to my skin tone. It will correct and conceal at the same time. Obvious keep these Maybelline concealers. So I have two shades. One shade is uh, called 141 this is something that I got here in the US this one is in the shade butterscotch this is actually my perfect match I think this is butterscotch I'm not able to see yeah this is 142 butterscotch so this is 141 and this is 142 although 142 butterscotch is my exact match I cannot use this because it's extremely old. I love this concealer. This used to be one of my favorite concealer. I've done a whole video swatching this shade, the shade called Sand and another shade, I guess, Caramel. So I've swatched three shades and that video is quite popular on my channel. I've explained everything clearly in that video if you, you know, looking to buy some shades from this. Love this concealer, love this shade for my skin. But unfortunately, it's old, so I need to get rid of this. This shade, however, is like a highlighting shade for me, so I can use this after a color corrector and everything. I can still use this, the shade called 141. Uh, this is golden, so I'm going to keep this. Next up, we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I actually really like this. It's in the shade Tan Sand. Again, this is a touch light for me, but after color correction, I can use this so this is how the shade looks like you can see it's a little bit light for me but yeah I can use this uh, really like the formula blends beautifully a very beautiful concealer definite keep and then I have the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is the matte one I got the shade light beige I wanted to use this for like uh, as an eye base type thing for my eyeshadow but unfortunately when I use this during one of the events on my wedding on top of my eyelids, it started pilling, the eyeshadows wouldn't blend, so I had to take this off. So the only time I used this was, uh, again, last year during the Halloween makeup because of the shade, it's like super light and pale um, for the corpse bride look. If possible, I'll just insert a picture of that look, so you know, so that you can 
understand why I would use this. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna keep this. This is a terrible concealer. Um, the shade wise and formulation wise, I don't like this. Another shade in the 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. Uh, this is in the shade tan neutral. Again, tan sand would have been a better match for me. But this is again like two plus years old. I think I like the uh, hydrating one better than the matte one. So since I'm keeping the hydrating one, I'm going to get rid of the matte one. Then we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. This is in the shade 145 Warm Beige. I love this concealer. I think I got this like a year back. So I can keep this. My... Um, rule is uh, for liquid products if it's like two plus years old and i think i'll get rid of this otherwise i'll keep it this is the shade again a little bit light and it's a little neutral but then it's uh really nice i like to use this blends beautifully lasts longer good coverage so i'm gonna keep this world's most horrible concealer i don't know if i got a wrong uh, if if i got like a bad product uh but look at this wand you guys looks like food the color is also way too pale for me but nonetheless i try to use this like a highlighting concealer my under eyes have never looked terrible it separates it doesn't pill it separates it's super hard to blend if i put powder on top it makes it worse oh my god this is the catrice 18 hour hydrating true skin concealer it's not hydrating getting rid of this we have the swiss beauty concealers super old i've never used this actually i don't have anything to say about this um, it's super old so i think it's high time that i got rid of this sugar concealer again this is in the shade 40 brave i've used this quite a bit and i'm not really like a huge fan of this it's okay the shade is also a little bit off for me uh, it's okay nothing too great and it's old so i'm gonna get rid of this Next, I have two Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is like a brand new one. Uh, this is pretty old. So I'm going to get rid of this and keep this. This is in the shade uh, Tan Sand. A very beautiful full coverage concealer. If you're looking for something like that, then give this a shot. I'm going to open this and then just start using this brand new one. Next up, we have the uh, NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Although the formulation of this is great, this shade is extremely dark for me you can see maybe i'll try and use this like a foundation i don't want to base this i want to give this a shot okay i'm going to try and use this like a foundation and let's see what happens so these are the concealers that i'm going to be keeping uh i'm keeping like six concealers and i'm getting rid of over eight concealers for yeah i'm getting rid of eight so i'm pretty happy about this particular declutter now i can see these concealers better and use them well let's move on to powders so i have loose powders and i also have compact powders let's arrange this a little bit better and um, let's start working on this So these are all of the powders that I have, powder foundations, all of it. I have like 12 powders including two, three loose powders. Uh, so let's start with loose powders since we have only three. Let's start with this K Beauty one. I have this one in the shade uh, Latte. It's got a nice sifter. It's very beautiful actually. I have used this a lot. Like you can see I have little bit of it left no i've used like half of it and half of it is left uh but this is extremely old so i'm forced to get rid of this i might repurchase this in the future beautiful um uh, loose powder sets the makeup really well another beautiful powder is the stay quirky one um i don't even know if they sell this uh yeah it's like a tiny powder it does work really well it sets my makeup beautifully but it's like between these two, I think I want to get rid of this and I just want to keep one loose powder. So I'm going to get rid of this as well, although it's really good. Next, we have the Wet n Wild Banana Powder. If I need to use a loose powder these days, this is the one that I pick up. It's so beautiful, you guys, underneath the eyes. Uh, it's extremely nice. The packaging is a little bit messy, but uh, the powder, the product is great. Love using this. Uh, definite keep love this powder it's like a big jar not very travel friendly but the product is good so i'm going to keep this this is the only loose powder that i'm keeping i'm going to focus on this and use this well 
compact powders the only high end compact powder that i own is the mac uh, powder it's the studio fix powder in the shade nc41 like you can see it's still in its packaging i just got this for the black friday sale i've been wanting this for so many years and uh, i was able to get it now because it was on a 50 percent um, discount so yeah i have not touched this i've not swatched this <laughs> It comes with a mirror and it has like a puff underneath. If you guys want me to do a review on this powder, let me know. I'm excited to use this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this very soon. Another new um, powder that I have is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. I actually use this in a vlog. I'm pretty sure the vlog is up. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. I've been really enjoying this. Anytime I want to use a powder, I use this because it looks beautiful underneath the eyes and also all over the face. So, such a nice powder. It, it has a very nice finish. This is in the shade 33 Honey. Again, I got this on a Sephora sale for $8. This, this is originally $20. Moving on to another K-Beauty product. This is the K-Beauty Pressed Powder. I have loved this powder so much. It's the smoothest. Like it's super, super smooth, you guys. And the shade is also really nice. I'm in the shade 130 and medium. Um, even though I love this powder, I think I have to get rid of this because A, it is old and I want to use up some of the newer powders that I have. And I've used this uh, quite well. Like you can see, I've hit pan. So uh, I'm happy with the usage of this product. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Um, yeah, with a heavy heart, I'm getting rid of this. Let's move on to this Nika powder. Okay, this is also a very nice powder. It's super, super smooth. Uh, this is in the shade... I'm not sure what shade this is. Okay, this is the shade Sand 04. It has a mirror. It's super cheap. I think it's like 250 rupees or something. Really, really nice powder. Very smooth. Again, this is a little bit old. And I, I have used this quite a bit. And I want to kind of you know move on and start using other things that haven't given much love so yeah i'm gonna get rid of this as well moving on we have the elf powder foundation i don't know if the shade is an issue or what but this never looks good on me i exclusively tried using this underneath the eyes it doesn't look super light on camera either right it it's not it's not super light but underneath the eyes it just looks a little bit too heavy and i can't really use this to set my face because it looks whitish this is the shade uh 280n maybe i should try out a lighter shade but i think i'm gonna go through the powders that i already have and love uh, so I think I'm gonna like get, pass this on to my sister. I think it might suit her well uh, So yeah, I'm gonna give this to my sister. This is actually new I've used this only a couple of times did not work out next I have this number seven one So this is something I actually was told that is a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury one This is also a little bit light like you can see like the elf one. It's lighter than the elf one but for some reason this looks nice underneath my eyes if i want something you know natural looking uh, powder to set under my eyes i go for this i actually like this i enjoy this pretty well um so yeah i'm gonna keep this one the packaging is also stunning don't you think it's so nice it's the number seven powder in the shade light medium and we have my favorite charlotte tilbury powder oh my god you guys i love this powder i got the mini size because uh, the big one is 50 dollars so the minis oh this is the other high-end powder i thought the mac one was the only high-end powder that i own but uh, yeah this is 25 dollars it's the travel size again i use this exclusively underneath my eyes anytime i need a perfect flawless airbrushed look this is the powder that i go for I can never go wrong with this powder. I trust, I love this powder. Like you can see there's a little bit of a dent here, even though I use it just underneath my eyes, you can see how much I've used that. Really love this, highly, highly recommend. If you're looking for a high-end powder, this is the one you need to go for. I have not heard one bad review about this product, you guys. It's that good, it's tiny, so it's easy to carry as well. Love this. Next, let's talk about um, another one of my favorite powder ring so these are the l'oreal infallible fresh wear 24 hours blah 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 powder 
so this has excellent coverage anytime i feel like i need more coverage which is all the time underneath my eyes um i end up using this this in combination with a color corrector is awesome i use the bobby brown peach corrector or the flower beauty one all the time and uh, that does not give like a orangish tint somebody asked me like why don't you use a concealer over it won't it look orange uh, in the natural light no it doesn't it's a dark peach corrector it just camouflages my dark circles but it does not uh, look orange so on top of that corrector in case um, if i feel like oh it might have like a peachy effect i want to use some some type of product but i don't want to use another concealer and stuff i use this this has a little bit of coverage and it ends up looking great underneath the eyes this is the shade 260 and this is the shade 220 and this is a little bit darker than 220 but i end up using both of these like you can see you know i guess i've used 220 a little bit more than 260 but yeah i think i like using both obviously gonna keep them so these are the powders that I'm keeping, which is like seven. Yeah, totally seven powders, including a, a one loose powder. And I'm getting rid of uh, five powders, including two loose powders. So this is the after you guys. This, like you can see, it's much more neat, manageable. I can see everything and use them properly. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the declutter. So yeah. So yeah, this was my declutter video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Please share, comment, and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope this video was entertaining. I'll see you next time in another interesting video. Until then, it's take care. Tata bye-bye from Jani Balaji. Bye.